Yo, what's going on guys? It's Gamer here, back again with another video, and today we're going to be reviewing Boruto Episode 15, and the title for this episode is A New Path. And a lot of stuff was kind of shown off in this episode, and some, some of the stuff that was shown off, I almost don't really know how to feel about it. One of the big things happened towards the end of the episode, and we'll get into that in a little bit, of course, right? But right now, I'm going to go ahead and just say that I'm going to try to kind of summarize the episode as much as I can. But really, nothing happened that was too interesting besides the the very like last like five minutes of the episode. That was pretty much it, right? Uh, the episode kind of is just like every other episode. It's a, uh, it, this continues on with basically what happened after the end of la of the last episode, which was Sumide being basically taken into custody, and she basically then right there admits that she had this motive for this reason, etc., 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 and she is allowed to go back into the academy. And later on in the episode, she actually uh, does return back to the academy, and a lot of the students that were in her class were actually wondering, like, what's wrong with her because they weren't really told anything. You know, only really the grown-ups grown -ups know what the hell is going on, like Sai, Shikamaru, Naruto, of course, because he's the Hokage, just stuff like that. And something else happens in the episode, and uh, we basically get different team formations, so we're not going to see... Borto, uh, Mitsuki, and Sh uh, Shigadai. Uh, now Shigadai, Chocho, and Inojin have formed up the Ino Shikacho trio, like how I was with Ino, Choji, and Shigamaru back in Naruto Part One and Shippuden. So it wasn't really that surprising that it happened, because it was kind of like it was gonna happen anyways. So it might as well happen now. And so I guess they're like a permanent team. And from what we know from like Naruto the, uh, Naruto the, the movie, or Boruto the movie, and stuff like that, we already know what the final team for Boruto is going to be. It's going to be Boruto, Mitsuki, and Sarada. But Sarada wasn't actually a part of the team or the formation of the team in this episode, which I don't get why they didn't do that. But it's kind of whatever. I didn't really focus too much on it. Oh, I was just kind of like... Well, they're going to team up eventually, so it's not really that big of a problem, so who cares. Um, Porto goes home. Uh, he notices that Naruto is there. He's he's home. But it's obviously one of his clones, probably. And Porto then goes ahead, and Porto and Naruto have the same fucking conversations that they always do. Uh, but this time, Porto's asking his, uh, his dad, Naruto, like... What's wrong with Sumide, the class rep? Like, she's my friend. She's all of our friends. Uh, she's all of our friend, you know? The entire class is worried about her and shit. And Naruto's like, just don't worry about it, man. I'll, I'll deal with it. She's gonna return back. And then he's just like, no, you gotta listen to me. I'm trying to fucking tell you something, man. You gotta listen. Shit like that. And then we get another fucking practice exercise or whatever, and it's basically kind of like one of the practice exercises that happened in one of the earlier episodes in the beginning of the series. Don't really remember what episode, but that's basically it. We get like this really cool action scene of a Metal Lee, uh, fucking Mitsuki, I can remember his name for some reason, I have brain fart. And Boruto fighting Sh uh, Shikadai, Chocho, and and Inogen. Uh, shocker, right? Boruto wins. Boruto fucking gets the flag that's on top of the fucking school. He wins. Uh, class rep Sumide is returns back, and you know everyone's like, "Yay, you're back!" Whatever. Everyone's excited and bullshit, right? Whatever. It's basically the end of that, and then we get into. The most important, not really important, well, yes, important, but the most exciting part of the episode, and that's Naruto, and he's basically fucking climbing around on a fucking tree, 
I'm like dumbfounded, right? I'm not really getting like what the hell's going on. At first, I didn't even realize that it was Naruto, but then when he gets to the very top, I realize that it's him. And I was like, oh, Sasuke is going to be here, isn't he? And then what do you know? He shows up, but I was just like, fuck yes, finally. <laughs> it was about time he showed up. But um, yeah, basically Sasuke is here. Uh, him and Bort, not Bort, I'm sorry, Naruto have a conversation and they basically go off and start saying that uh, Sasuke is getting much closer and closer to getting to uh, one of the dimensions that Kaguya uh, had basically created in the fight many, many years ago when she was basically brought back, right? And just all this shit happens, he leaves, it goes back to another, it goes to another scene rather to fucking Toneri, I don't, I, uh, I, I don't, I don't know what they're doing with him. I'm, I'm really just fucking dumbfounded of what they're actually doing with Toneri. I thought everything that Toneri was going to be involved with was just Naruto the last, but apparently since like, what, like episode like 11, when he first showed up in the series, like after Naruto the last I was just like why did they bring him back like what's the importance with him I'm not really I'm not really getting it I'm not sure what they can actually do with him that can make him like a substantial character to the series to make him interesting other than the fact that he used to have a Tensegon and now he doesn't have a Tensegon anymore so what can they do with him I thought everything with Toneri was done, but I guess not. And then we get to the big fucking scene where everyone is probably pissed off about. We go to another scene and we're in this dimension. And the first two people we see are Kinshiki and Momoshiki Otsutsuki. And if you don't recognize those names, those are the two main antagonists from Boruto, the movie. And this is basically kind of just insinuating the fact that we're going to do Boruto, the movie, in the anime. So basically what's going to happen is, if you've been watching Dragon Ball Super since the beginning, back in like 2015, you know that the series started off with retellings of Battle of Gods and then Resurrection F, Resurrection F and then we finally went off to something else that was original and new and now we're we're doing this again we're doing this again with fucking Momoshiki back you know they're just gonna they're just gonna do the thing that they did in the movie if you haven't seen boards in the movie I would actually recommend watching it uh, I would recommend watching it more than the anime uh, the anime ad ad adaptation mainly because I feel like if they're gonna go ahead and kind of have almost the same amount of like animation and art style that they have been doing for the past couple of weeks and they're gonna do it for literally the retelling for poor to the movie I feel like this is almost the same situation that I would always tell everybody with Dragon Ball Super in the beginning first two arcs watch Battle of Gods watch Resurrection F and then you're fucking set for the rest of Super. That's that's basically kind of what I all that what I all always say. But there actually is a fan-made uh, Resurrection F art that someone did make. I haven't had a chance to really watch it, but basically it's like the story and the narrative of the arc with like the fighting and action scenes of the movie. So it's like really good. I haven't had a chance to see see it, like I said, but I hear it's really good. But. I I just I, uh, I I I I don't know I don't know like uh, I I don't know basically this this like next like I guess mini arc that we're gonna get we're gonna finally get like an animated uh like uh an animated like Shin Uchiha like a mini arc I guess and if you don't know who Shin Uchiha is it's basically like a Sasuke Gaiden I'm not really entirely sure but it's a novel 
where basically uh, like Sara does having like co uh, conflictions with uh, I guess who her, or her real mother is she's like she doesn't really know or she doesn't really like understand who her possible real mother can possibly be and stuff like that and then the main antagonist is someone by the name of Shin Uchiha and I, I haven't had a chance to read the novel or the Gaiden so I can't really tell you what it's all about uh, most of you who have probably have watched it uh, do know what's gonna happen but most likely it's just that it's gonna be animated now so whatever but I, 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 I don't know I don't really know how to feel about Boruto, Naruto, Next Generations <sighs> taking this Dragon Ball Super path where it's like they're gonna retell a movie so it's like for those of you who've already watched the movie it's like you already know what's gonna happen you know and most people are, would probably say like why are you complaining we're getting an animated adaptation of a movie that was really good well the reason why people there are getting really upset is because in Dragon Ball Super the the anime the anime adaptation of Battle of Gods and Resurrection F had some of the most awful animation ever seen for Dragon Ball right and I'm worried because I feel like the same thing is gonna happen with Boruto and I don't really want that to happen if it does it's just gonna be like why I'm still gonna watch the series of course and I'm gonna review the, ser the series of course because these are the ty types of videos that I enjoy making but it's the fact that they're doing it it kind of just buns me out a little bit anyways uh, if you guys did enjoy the video be sure to drop a like of course and I, I, I really don't know what else to fucking say. I'm wrapping up the fucking video. There's really nothing else for me to talk about. If you guys did enjoy the video, be sure to drop a like. And if you're brand new to the channel and if you want to see content just like this, please consider hitting that subscribe button for future content just like this. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Hope you guys are having a fantastic day. Peace out.